this um going through cnbc make it i love i love their content and you know i just thought that okay as an african you know i'm just gonna react and uh, and see how you know she does because i think i'm starting a new series on my channel where i'll just be uh, reviewing these videos because i'm seeing myself getting addicted to these and please don't forget to subscribe comment like and yeah ah uh, let's get straight into this see what she's got to say I love living in New York City because there's so many free amazing things to do and just going outside it's really beautiful that you meet so many amazing people oh yeah yeah that's um that's New York that's New York and yep uh yeah they say she's 25 years oh wow wow okay Meet Brittany Cunningham. She lives in New York City and makes $37,000 a year. I think I do have a good handle on my finances. It's, you know, it's great because it's one of those stories where many of us can relate. You know, 37K, yeah, you know. You know, CNBC likes to frustrate some of us. You see a 17 year old child making $1 million a year, how he's doing his. He's in flip-flops, he's staying in his one-bedroom house, he's saving all his money and, you know, you know, we also love to see the average people like, you know, we, 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 we can relate, we resemble like, you know, in terms of, yeah, what she's making and all that. Okay, great, let's see. But I also know that I can make more money, I'm hustling and I'm trying to, you know, work as hard as I can in my industry. There's always room for improvement, there's always room to do better. Here's how much 25-year-old Brittany Cunningham spends in a week. Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm 25 years old and I live in New York City. For the past three years, I've been working freelance as a production assistant and it's really great because I can basically book myself on a show and work whenever I want. And oh. This is the most important part, you know, I always love to see, all of us would love to see what someone is doing, but, you know, just the fact she's working as a freelancer in production, you know, it's, it's great because it's, it's, it looks like her passion and also, um, she has enough time dedicated for herself, you know, working for yourself is really great, you know, you're the master of your time, you're a master of all you do and yeah. Let's just let's let's flow with her and see it. Yeah. And for however long I want. But during the pandemic, you know, when there wasn't anything filming in New York City, I started a side hustle. I started making candles and I really, really enjoyed it. So I made it into a full business and it's really been something that I'm very passionate about. Brittany saves nearly half her income by setting strict budgets for her. That's great. The the the, the level of discipline, dedication. She has a candle brand. She's a freelance production artist. And I love this work ethic, especially uh, uh, for for a lady, you know, a young 25-year-old lady because I can imagine her in 10 years, you know, when she gets a good husband and they come up with something. And yeah, that's, that's awesome, yeah. Herself. Whenever I get my money from my job, it goes straight to my savings first. And then I take a certain amount and that goes into my checkings. And then I use my credit card for spending like everyday purchases, like a cup of coffee. Typically when I'm working, I pretty much don't have to pay for any food during the week, which is like insanely amazing. And I'm really mm. lucky to have that privilege. The only time that I really have to pay for food is on the weekends when I'm at home. And then I usually just buy takeout. This particular week, Brittany doesn't have a production assignment, so she'll be buying more food than she normally would, <laughs> all while trying to keep her weekly budget below $200. But it's great, but you know, I'm from an African background, and what, I'm, what I can advise her is, you know, she should start cooking for us. Because eating out, yeah, it's great. It's, it's not too perfect for your health. It's not too for your savings and for her being in these conditions you know you can buy enough uh, um, uh, ingredients and you know you cook and you can see yourself eating that for two days and the next you know especially for a lady but but you know who am i to judge and yep so 
here's how much Brittany spent the week of June 1st, 2021. So it's Monday and I woke up and I have three whole orders of candles. So I'm gonna spend some time packing those orders up. I just realized that I'm running very low on bubble wrap and tissue paper, which I need for the packaging of my candles. So I'm gonna go on Amazon and purchase some. Brittany saves a good amount of money by making her own coffee and breakfast in the mornings. Yeah. I do like to cook. You know, like I said, coffee is, is some, coffee is overrated, you understand? Like a cup of coffee in Starbucks is $6 and take like three cups per day, who buy three cups per day and it's a, it's a very big money spender and yeah, I think, um, I don't know how, you know, but people are addicted to that, so you know, I, 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 My breakfast at home, you know, a simple omelet or cereal or whatever can go a long way. Day two is grocery day. I didn't buy too much at the grocery store. It's just typical stuff like bread, milk, eggs. So it didn't come out to too much. For lunch, Brittany makes a meal with her purchases. Every single Wednesday, my church meets up at someone's house and we have a dinner party. And it's just a really good time for us to talk about the word, to talk about the service from the last Sunday. We have dinner together. We always try to pitch in a little bit something, so I definitely brought some wine for this one. Yeah, you know, church groups are really great because not only, uh, you know, it's good for your well-being, it's good for your spirituality for your mindset so i encourage most of you to join church groups here on thursday britney ventures out of her neighborhood for the subway i buy the monthly pass i think this is a good way to save money because you're not buying the ride every single time one minute away shopping I don't really spend a lot of money on like shopping for clothes. Like I'm not a huge like fast fashion person. I do like to go thrifting if I need something. Yes. Yeah, I love that because you know she's naturally beautiful, so she doesn't need all the Louis Vuitton and Gucci. Whatever you're gonna wear, man, it's gonna be great with you. So yeah, I encourage you to. Go yeah save a lot of money on dresses because dressing is expensive in the u.s yeah i like to buy secondhand things I like books i don't really see the point in buying a 20 dollar book when you could buy a book for two dollars that you know is just as good britney ends the night with one of her favorite weekly rituals thai food so every single week i order from the same thai restaurant I yeah sometimes you need to spend noodles. on yourself it's kind of been my guilty pleasure so i don't care about splurging a little bit on that every week so on friday i went to my local cafe to edit some youtube videos there i bought a chai tea latte and a brownie and i spent most of my day just editing and then afterwards me and my roommate went to a roller skating rink Exciting. <laughs> Usually I like to skate at the park for free, but this time I wanted a different change of scenery, so I me and my roommate went over there to skate with the other people and it was really fun. Go Kevin! Hey. Hey. <laughs> we also got really hungry, so we stopped at Sticky's, which is my favorite chicken spot in New York, and we bought some chicken and fries, and then after we were done skating, we got some munchies and we stopped at the local bodega and bought some snacks. Mm, damn, it's great, it's great, it's great, it's great, it's great, you know, but I see she consumes a lot of sugar and yeah, it's great for the health, but you know, uh, sugar reduces productivity and you know, it's in healthy, it's great for productivity and but anyhow, yeah. <laughs> Hey, so I am on my way to Hell's Kitchen. Apparently there's some sort of street fair going on, so I'm on my way to go check it out. We are searching for food to eat. Gyro. Gyro. Hungry. We hungry. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Thank you. Finally. 
Brittany also makes an unexpected purchase that sets her over budget. Okay, so I just found out that Doja Cat will be performing live July 4th weekend in Coney Island. And I think I might have to go. Like, I might have to buy tickets to see this girl. Bam. Bam. You know, at the end of the day, we ha we all have something, you know, we spend on. So I don't really, everybody has, you live, you've, you've got to spend the way you like and yeah. Single Sunday, I go to my church in Manhattan and I really love this church because it has really good music. The vibe is really awesome. Everyone's very friendly and just lively. I was going to church and I was late, so I had to buy Dunkin' Donuts. These little costs definitely add up, so I definitely need to watch what I'm eating. And what yeah, I'm yeah, we really got sugar church, Dunkin' the Donuts. Pride Festival, so there was a bunch of people outside in the streets for Pride, which was really great to see in New York. There was a lot of free stuff going on as well. I got free ice cream at one point. Brittany went over budget by $30.10, but here's how she thinks she did. I don't think it was too much considering I usually spend around $200 a week. If I do spend over $200 or over my budget, I hope that it's towards my candle business or something more important than just concert tickets. But I'm going to give myself a little slack. It's going to be my birthday soon. It's cancer season, so I can splurge a little bit more. With my income, I definitely have to be a lot more self-disciplined and be very cognitive of what I'm doing and how I'm spending my money. However, I know that one day, you know, with my ambition and with, with hard work and, you know, doing my side hustles and everything, I feel like I can definitely make more money one day. But until then, I'm going to continue to hustle hard and work my best to get there. Wow, I really love this and yeah, it looks inspiring and all the like and yep that's all i have for today and yeah please don't forget to comment subscribe and like you know which will motivate me just like this thank you ciao